moving on with the subway scene. I've got a few um, just small things I need to do, and then I'm going to work on the, the rail system. There's lots more pipes and cables to do, or at least some. Um, I want to come in here and just, uh, just sort of cap these off just in case I ever see the end, or just it'll just look more finished to me. Uh, let's see, we'll do this, and then we'll do this. And let's try just the, no, we're not gonna do that. Actually, I think I'm gonna put on a small subdivision. And uh, let's just isolate that and uh, bring in an edge loop down here. Not that. Is that enough support? It's quite long. So I'll just throw another one. Sometimes we need another one in there. And in fact, this one could probably come down. And another one in here like this. And just. Yeah, I just it'll just look neater to me. Same thing uh, with these guys here. Let's see if I can do them all at the same time. Not gonna worry about the ends, we're just touching things up. Okay, now we're gonna work on the railing system. There's something else I wanna do as well. Okay, so I found an image of a um, profile of the rail itself. So I'm going to bring that in, and I think I'll select here and go. Uh, cursor is selected just to get close to where I want. In fact, I'm going to select this edge. Cursor is selected. So my 3D cursor is right there. And I am going to look from the front and shift A. Image reference. And that is the, the image right there. I'm going to bring that up. right there that's what I want all right so let's just do that simply let's just bring in a plane merge those points and I'll call that my center all right I'm gonna go E and pull it out E E, E, and I'm just doing E and G now. And not too many points, but but a few. E and G, E and G. To there, and then I'll come across. Oops, and the X. Okay, that's all I need this for. I just want that. Turn on wireframe, I can get a sense of where the floor is, but it doesn't really matter too much. Okay. I'm going to take this. I'm going to go into edit mode, shift D, rotate Z 180, and then pull it out. And I'm just going to make it my own. I don't care about the diagram anymore. Grab those two, F. Grab these two, F. Have to make a face. E to extrude. Now I can make this smaller, of course. Uh, 
Now let's just see if this takes any form of a bevel at all, and it does. And we're going to do something like that, shade smooth, and I might do that as well. And we may go to here. And that is probably, well, you know what, on the other hand, I might want to try just a little bit of beveling by hand. Just some of these sharp parts. Let's just see how that how it takes it for that. If I do this and get rid of the other bevel. And uh, maybe I'll even get rid of this face for now and just have a look at that. Here and grab these and best bevel them myself. I think I'm going to be okay with that from what I'm going to see. Let's uh, grab this edge here. Look from the top in wireframe. And GY and just start pulling it down to the end. Now, of course, if I change the scale of this, I may have to change the length as well again, but I just want to get a sense of what it's looking like. I may want to go with that size, actually. Just to get an idea, my 3D cursor right there, I'll take this, I'll set the origin of the 3D cursor and I'll mirror it. Okay, I think I probably would want it a bit wider though. So the next thing I'm going to do are the um, the railroad ties, the sleepers, whatever you call those things, and the supports. Here's what I'm thinking. I am thinking, I'll just bring in another plane. I'm going to build something for this. Um, let's try an edge loop, control B, just like that. And let's hide that so I just see this. Probably should have evened that out. Get it more central. So I'm concentrating on the rail here. I think I am. Or is that on the line?
this kind of a thing. there. But along that line is what I'm going for. Of course I'm going to see it from out there so I need to be tilted more in though. Right. I don't want to go too crazy with that part. The, the pulling in, I don't know if it'll look too weird but I'll come a bit more just like that and um, let's grab this face shift S cursor to select it just to bring the 3d cursor there and shift a mesh circle let's go for six let's just do this real simple because there's gonna be a lot of them and they're gonna be quite far away I mean, not that far away but I'm not gonna see them very well So there it is, F, E. Um, control B, I'll put one edge there. Take this part, I'd inset. Now, I don't think I can get any more of a circle on that. So just extrude it and uh, roll your mouse up a few times and pretend. And just pretend that that's a bolt and such. Let's put that into place. All right, like this. Maybe there. So my 3D cursor is there, so that's not what I want to do. Let's just isolate those and get rid of the bottom. What if those were there? And then I took the whole thing and I did Origin geometry, cursor selected. Uh, let's apply that mirror and then uh, oh, origin of the 3D cursor. And then I mirrored those to the other side. And uh, I'm not gonna worry about tilting or turning them, I don't think, rotating them. What about that? And then what if I apply that? How will, we, how will it look if I just join all that? Let's not do that. Let's take this. Let's apply that bevel and then let's join them. Okay, so this is what we got. Um, I just want to have a quick look with the cavity. Yeah, okay. And that's not it though. Also have this. Oh, I may need to get rid of the bottom of that stuff if I didn't already. I'll show you in a minute. Push you out to the wall. Okay, let's go into this. Yeah. Okay, right here. Okay, I applied that bevel. That makes it a little bit harder. Control seven to look at the bottom. See for paint select. Let's just go over this whole thing. X 
Six faces. I think that even cleared up some shading issues to some extent. It's a curiosity if I put a bevel on the whole thing now. I can leave that on for the time being. I like it a bit. Um, this up to there. This gone. Uh, what have I got on here? Same bubble. Central, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do, that may look a bit funny. Let's just try joining them. Oops. And seeing what everybody turns out to be okay let's do this let's grab those and control b so we got one piece now with a bevel grab the main floor again and shift s cursor selected so the 3d cursor is right in the middle of that and let's mirror this Origin 3D cursor. So we have that coming in. And then we take, uh, did I get rid of that face? No, not yet. Let's turn on clipping. Let's pull that in. Let's get rid of those faces. That's what I wanted to do. And I now have one piece. Let's apply that. And let's try. An array in the Y. Just one. Zero. And I'll deal with shading and stuff in a bit. Okay, looks like I gotta deal with shading. Let's, uh, let's turn that off. What's on here? Let's just do that. I realize that that's not what I want to do yet. <laughs> so um, let me come back to this main guy here and uh, get rid of the array. We're getting there, but that's not quite what I want to do yet. Um, hmm. I want actually all of this stuff here. Okay. And I'm going to Shift D to copy it and just pull it over. Shift D, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it close. I want that, and that is then going to be arrayed. Again, in the line. switch to the cavity so we can see it a little bit better. Now I'm thinking those rails are a little bit too far apart. I could be wrong. That can all be fixed though. needed to so that's 
that's what I've got for the rails. And hopefully that looks okay, kind of sci-fi-ish and kind of whatever. Okay, let's get out of cavity now. It's hard to leave that, but let's select everything and go into edit mode, select everything, alt n, recalculate outside just in case there's anything. Make sure we got everything saved. Okay, we're getting up there in polys, but it's still not too bad. So let's just have a quick look with uh, a different mat cap. Okay, I think I'm going to put, um, I don't know, are you misbehaving? Something's funny here. Yeah, those were flipped. Um, I might put a piece like this right here. I might do something like this. Um, Just as a cover-up type thing. Let's see what that would look like with Solidify. Yeah. I might put one there. And then my 3D cursor is there, so let's try this. Set origin of the 3D cursor. And let's mirror this. It might not be perfect. Uh, I think I'm going to apply that mirror and then come in and actually separately look at this. I don't know, maybe it's fine. Well, it is fine actually. So I don't, you know, hopefully that would help. I might put one up here. in, take a piece of this and control L, control L, and delete those, just find that guy, and uh, and then in this case, in wireframe, uh, just do this, by hand and I don't know if that's an improvement or if it's necessary. It just might might look a little bit cleaner in the end. I don't know. And I'm just curious. Yeah. This is too thick. 
in to me. What I'm saying is I want it a little bit more substantial, I think. Just even like that. Okay, so small changes to, to this. Um, yeah, there's more to do. Of course, we've got more pipes, more cables, and a few more actual pieces uh, to put in. And, uh, yeah. And eventually we'll move to modeling the subway uh, car itself and figuring out what to do at the very end. Cool. Okay, thanks for watching.